we have just seen a swing failure pattern from the previous high from two days ago, ending with this bit of a rejection. But I am not shorting this swing failure pattern. I am not shorting this rise to the upside because I am remaining patient for my higher price targets to be hit. And in this video, I will be telling you the exact price targets that I have, the current trade setups that we have ahead of us, the reasons why to remain long and bullish. And if you are in a short, I would be looking to close that as soon as possible because I do believe they're going to be stopped out and we are going to be hitting our higher price targets. So in the previous video, of course, I was talking about the rejection that we saw off of the weekly naked point of control and the 382 Fibonacci level from all time high. That was the 2nd of November rejection right up at the highs. There was the full on rejection from that 382 weekly naked point of control. It looked like this at the time. And in my last YouTube video, while we were trading down and around here, I was telling you now, if you have taken that short, which was an acceptable short trade, you've got to be locking in that take profit one. Why? Because you are now trading at the range point of control after that rejection of the weekly naked point of control. Uh, this is definitely a time to be locking in and take profit, move the stop loss down to entry. So you've got a risk free trade and your guaranteed profits. Why? Because yes, we are at that range point of control. And honestly, while we're still maintaining that support, you've got to expect there is a much higher probability that we are going higher. OK, so, you know, I'm kind of making it clear to my team. While we're maintaining support, we've got to be really expecting higher and then emphasizing the next day. You know, I am remaining bullish. I am expecting new highs to be made. You know, then a little some hours later, still remaining bullish, still looking for new highs to be made. So we are holding that range point of control. And this is a setup that I shared in late October for my team. And it was a move to the weekly naked 382 rejection from that pull back to the range point of control, subsequent rise to the upside. So this is the setup that I've been sharing and really trading from in my team. And that's why even after we rejected from the weekly naked and the 382, I'm still expecting another high. And that is why I remain long bullish and expecting new highs to be made. And we can see from that prediction how it really is trading very nicely. So the first prediction was made around here at the end of October. From that, we obviously got the rise to the 382 on the weekly. We got the pullback to the range point of control, and now we are getting that next rise to the upside that we were looking for. OK, so you can see from the prediction rise, drop, rise. We are currently getting pretty exactly as predicted <laughs> with the rise drop to the range point of control, next rise to the upside. And that is why if you took the short off of here, which was an acceptable short in the chart time, uh, make sure you locked in that take profit one. OK, and I'd be out of that trade already. There's no need to wait for your stop loss to be hit because it's, you know, in my opinion anyway, uh, it's clear as day it's going to be hit because, you know, we're going higher. I'm, 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 I'm very sure, sure of it. Of course, I could be wrong. And if I am, well, that would be embarrassing, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm expecting that high to be taken out and I'm sticking to my plan. OK, I'm sticking to my plan, which is right now this. Uh, of course, we've got this second rise to around 37, just above $1,000. Uh, does price need to rise that high? The answer is no. We could be looking, first of all, for an SFP trade off of the uh, 2nd of November high. And that would be simply, you all know by now what a swing failure pattern is or failed auction. So you could be looking for that to come up, you know, breach that $36,000. And really, I'm looking for that to be breached on Coinbase. OK, so if you check Bitstamp, you know, if you check Coinbase, you will know $36,000 not taken out yet. So this is a psychological front run of that psychological number. Uh, so for me, that is always another sign that you're going to get that second bounce to the upside. And that's why I was, you know, fairly certain while we were down on the retest of the range point of control. Uh, why to remain long, why to remain bullish and why to be expecting new highs to be made. OK, so basically, you know, that was a, another reason. Yeah, we got the rejection here, but we didn't take out 36K on Coinbase, didn't take it out on your spot exchanges like Bitstamp. So, you know, for me, just another reason to overall expect higher. And that's why I made it clear with my bias once again to my team. We're looking for new highs to be made. And here we are coming up for those new highs, you know, should hopefully be in the next few days. So, uh, yeah, for me, the the next question that I'm anticipating is, are we going to get the rejection <laughs> off of uh, 37K4? As you can see, we predicted high, low, high, which we're getting right now. But then are we going to get this bigger drop? So that's what I'd like to explain next to you all, uh, of course, over that 37K target. Uh, so first of all, I'll just do really quick announcement. That is 
If you want from me daily live streams from myself and the other coaches, of course, Eagle, Rivalry and Severin, absolutely on fire now, killing it. If you want daily live streams from us, then you can get that via Chart Champions. I actually have a live stream in a few hours time uh, where I'll cover Bitcoin. Then we have another live stream covering the stock market, Forex market. Then you have another live stream today covering the altcoin market. So as you can see, you got Bitcoin, you got stocks, you got altcoin streams. Um, you know, you, we got everything covered for you. So that's three live streams in a day covering all the markets that you need. Of course, we got live trading streams. Uh, we got now new altcoin strategies. So if you want to learn the new altcoin strategies, if you want daily live streams, if you want the whole educational course, well, even more, if you want an inbuilt journal, if you want the competition, if you want even more, the cheat sheets, the vaults, if you want the best exchange deals possible, then you get all of that via chartchampions.com. This is the one-stop shop. This is the ultimate platform to learn to trade, to trade alongside the best, to watch the best traders trade live, where you get all of that via the website. So that's all I'm going to say on that. And I hope that you really enjoy and can take full advantage because this is really is, you know, has the potential to change your life. If you put in the time and effort and take it seriously, you've got everything that you need at your disposal and you can do it alongside the best. Not only the best, but we are absolutely crushing it right now with our bias, with our calls and with our predictions. So, um, yeah, that's enough of that. Let's move on to what I was saying. So will we get the rejection off 37K? Well, first of all, of course, we have the potential SFP off of this high and then we don't get that. And we got that rise low rise SFP rejection. So I'm looking for that SFP swing fair pattern failed auction. But if we don't get that, or if we do for another higher low, that's obviously another potential, uh, then yeah, that's why I'll be looking for 37K. We do have some nice confluence at 37K. Uh, this is a very skilled short to be taken. I think a lot of people could be wrecked because, you know, although we got this nice short trade set up off of $37,000, you have to remember we have targets up to $48,000, $50,000 you know, so that's another potential, you know, over $10,000 above that naked point of control there, 37K. So why I mean you've got to be very skilled is because you don't want to be taking shorts after short after short after short in what is a very bullish market where you should be taking the swing longs. So yes, at Chart Champions, we do take short trades in uptrends. But what we do when we take in these shorts, they're only the very best shorts at very high probability levels with good reactions. And then we are making sure to not get greedy and we are locking in take profit ones, moving stop losses to entry. Why? Because that guarantees us profit on the short. We understand there's still higher probabilities for higher. So while we are shorting in a very bullish uptrend, we've got to be locking in take profit ones, got to be moving that stop loss down to protect ourselves. So if you are short in 37K because of a good reaction, you know, just make sure you got your first take profit one locked down. I've already shared to my team where that take profit one should be. Um, and again, I have another live stream later today where I'll cover Bitcoin once again in a live stream uh, in a few hours time. So if you want more detailed updates, if you want updates every day, if you want the most up to date biases, how to take the trades, where to place, uh, you know, your our take profit ones, you know, we're giving that information inside of the group. But of course, the main reason for joining is the education. We teach you how to do this so you can do it all yourself. You're not waiting on somebody else to give you the information, but you're able to understand the charts fully, make your own informed decisions, understand the reactions and, you know, take the trade without having to wait on, uh, you know, a call from a, from the coach here at Chart Champions. So that's the level we want to get you at. So once again, I'll end by giving you a very simple rundown of my bias today. Um, I do think that we are going to go above the rejection from the weekly naked body control. Do feel that this was the higher low and should be out of that short. I think, I well, I know <laughs> I remain with a bullish bias. Still think longs are the best trade. I am expecting new highs to be made. So if I am wrong, well, I can say I got that wrong. And I'll always hold up my hands when I get it wrong. OK, so if we do just fall down from here, you know, I'm going to have made a very big mistake. Um, that could happen, of course, it is trading. But, you know, I remain highly confident in my trades and I'm expecting new highs. So then I'll be looking for the SFP offered here. If we don't get the SFP or failed auction, failed auction is where we maintain above the high lip longer. And that's where I look for 37K. If I get the bearish reaction there, I'll take a short trade. I will take that short trade with still the option in mind of, you know, seeing a move to 47, 48, $50,000. That's definitely a higher target for myself. 
So if I get the reaction there, I will take the trade, but I'll be looking to lock in my take profit one, move stop to entry. Then if I get a bigger rejection, perfect, that short trade can run for profits. But if we do get the higher low put in, okay, with a back test and a subsequent move to the upside, that's absolutely fine. I've took my profits. That's what we're in this market for at the end of the day. <laughs> Final words, I promise you, you are in this market to make money. Okay. You are here for profit. So even if you are quote unquote incorrect on your trades, OK, but you can subsequently make profits from that trade, then that is a profitable and a good trade, in my opinion. You're here to make profits, not to be overall right on hitting your overall target. Take your trade, lock in a take profit, move to stop loss, guarantee profits on that trade and then look for the next setup. OK, after that, of course, you had a setup for the long of the naked point of control on the weekly that was tapped. So you know, there's plenty of opportunity in this market, long and short. Don't be overall one way biased, unable to trade the other direction, you know, understand the trend, take high probability trades and make profit alongside the champs. If you want that guidance, if you want that education, if you want to check out the latest altcoin strategies and altcoin updates, you get all of that today via chartchampions.com. Let's absolutely continue to crush it team. Hope you've enjoyed. You know what to do if you did. Hit the like, hit the comment down below. I read every single one. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Enjoying this market ever so much recently. What a joy it has been. Let's continue to absolutely crush it together. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.